They sit up in the night, walk through the house, even drive their car all before waking up. They're the sleepwalkers. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for DNews. Sleepwalking, formerly known as somnambulism, is a strange phenomenon where people get up and do weird things in their sleep, sometimes more than just walking. When they wake, they don't have any recollection of what they were doing, and if they find their way back to their bed in their sleep, they may not know that they ever sleepwalked at all. Sleepwalking has been of interest to me since I had a freak incident in my teens. One night, I woke up at my high school. In my sleep, I had driven my car a mile down the road. When I woke up at 3 a.m. in a dark parking lot, I was disoriented, terrified, and strangely really embarrassed, which I guess isn't out of character since I spent most of my teens being embarrassed about things. Sleepwalking is nothing to be embarrassed about though, or terrified for that matter. It's relatively common. A recent study at Stanford found that nearly one in three people will sleepwalk at some point in their lives. Sleepwalking is especially common amongst children between the ages of four and eight. So what's going on with this strange phenomenon? The leading theory about why we sleepwalk is this. In a normal sleep cycle, your brain's motor system continues to issue physical commands to the body, but those movements are suppressed by a sleep chemical called GABA. GABA acts as a sort of a break in your brain. It brings your mind and your body down to rest by neutralizing glutamate, a chemical that causes excitement. In sleepwalkers, there's a glitch in the process that suppresses your body from moving around, namely that you don't produce enough GABA, so you end up moving around even though you're still asleep. There are a few reasons why this might happen. One is genetics. Sleepwalking definitely runs in families. Another possible cause of GABA deficiency is an underdeveloped system. The body simply hasn't matured enough to produce the proper amount, which explains why sleepwalking is so common amongst kids. The chemical imbalance that causes sleepwalking may also be linked to other thingies like depression. Those who suffer from depression are three times as likely to sleepwalk. Now there's a common myth out there that you shouldn't wake a sleepwalker. They'll go into a psychotic rage and could even kill you. I think there's a horror movie that was made about that once. But alas, it is a myth. If you've got a child or a housemate who's sleepwalking, you should definitely gently wake them up, especially if they're going for the knives in the kitchen or heading to their car with their keys. Recently, there was a crazy story about a lady who drove 190 miles in her sleep and she didn't die or kill anyone, which I don't know about you, but I'm gonna call that lucky. Thanks for joining me for D News, guys. Have you ever sleepwalked before? Tell me about it down below and we'll catch you again soon with more science updates.